I see a house, laptop, purse, car, <clears throat> airplane. That's an interesting one. All righty. The reason I had you put those in there. What does what? Marlena's mean? 30000 35000 Mar yeah. Marlena, what do you mean by that? That's all to the PowerPoint or whatever you're presenting on. have like where your PowerPoint's open and then you can just click on that and then it should take the place of my picture. No, nope, it did not. Why try this again? Block present. Click on the thing up. So go into like share screen, full screen, but then show your uh, like wherever you have your PowerPoint, if it's like down at the bottom where your you know like uh -huh. the programs are. Just click in there and it should be able to show up on your screen instead of me. So, yeah, there it is. Perfect. Does everybody see it or is it just me? Oh, you picked, you clicked on your picture again. You can't click on your own picture. Alright. So you gotta do it again. Features and effects of online banking 
including mobile banking for business and consumers. So some essential questions for you guys uh, to think about while we're going through this. What are the differences between the banking institutions, um, the credit union, commercial, and investment banks? What kind of bank loans can you get? And how can you use online and mobile banking um, to your advantages? Yes, sir. Because I don't have any income, and I only get a very little amount of pocket money. So why do I need to know about investment or banking? Just don't think it's, why is it important that we learn about this? That's a very good question. You know, just because you have very little now and you may not be using a bank now, having an understanding of why the banks, the differences between the banks, so one day when you go have enough money and hopefully that day comes soon, you know, you know which bank to go to and hopefully, you know, you'll be using the online banking. So when that day comes, you're already prepared and you're an educated consumer. Thank you. That so makes sense? Yeah, thank you so much. You're welcome, sir. All right, so here's the launch activity that I had you guys do. I abbreviated it because I understand that we're going to have abbreviated class today. So I'm going to jump right into the differences. Um, first one, commercial bank. It's a financial institution that provides services such as accepting deposits, giving bank loans, auto loans, uh, mortgages, and they do very basic products like savings accounts and certificates of deposits. These are uh, the banks that you see. Um, I live in Noonan, so you drive down Billsboro, you see, seems like every half mile or closer, Chase Banks, Bank of Georgia, Bank of America. Um, just by show of hands, you know, who has a commercial banking? All right. Mr. Rather, did you spell Stanley wrong? Because I think it's spelled differently. That is how I spell it on the actual. Let me double check. I did. There's a type of online. Yeah, my, my dad's name is Stanley, so I just knew that that was wrong. Sorry to I, call you out in front of the class. You caught it. Financial uh, credit union is a nonprofit financial institution that is operated entirely by its members. Uh, credit unions provide financial services for their members, including savings and lendings. Uh, credit unions differ because, uh, like I said, they're nonprofit and their members help operate it. But you can get different rates. Uh, the members get better rates on the loans and stuff. Does anyone here have our bank out of the credit union? Mr. Rather. Yes. Hello? Are we yes, going to get those nice little, those nice little, little um, to cards? Like, can you can you get those for us? Because I, I want to go to the mall and just use it to buy some stuff. Because you need us think about what we want. And I made a list right now. I, I understand it's Christmas time and you, you want, there's a lot of stuff out there that you want, but to get a Visa card, you know, the bank, the banks don't just hand them out. You have to get an account and like a check-in account, you're going to have to put your money in there and they only let you spend what you have in there. We will talk about credit cards in a little bit and loans. So if you hang tight, we'll, we'll get into that here in a little bit. Oh, okay, thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? No, thank you. All right. All right, so a credit union that's here locally is Delta Community Credit Union. I actually bank there, so and that's here locally. And an investment bank is a specific division of banking that is related to the creation of capital for other companies. Um, investor, investment banks underwrite new debt and equity securities for all types of corporations. Uh, they also provide guidance to insurers regarding the issue and placement of stocks. Um, these are like Merrill Lynch, Morgan Stanley, uh, 
Edward Jones, those type of places where you go to mainly for retirement, your IRAs, Roth IRAs, to set up your portfolios for the future. Do you have any questions about that kind of stock or the bank? All righty. All right, loans. Why are the loans needed? Can anyone tell me a main reason why you might need a loan? To buy a house. To buy a house. Yes. To buy a car. Yes, that's a good reason. Any others? To go to college. That's a very big one. To start a business. Yes. All those are very good. Those are. Big reasons why you need it. Um, they can also be for sudden expenses, um, whether it be a sudden hospital bill or sudden something happens to a car you already have and you have a mechanic expense that you didn't plan for and you need to get a small loan to help pay for that. Um, you know, you can go to the bank and apply for a loan. Um, they don't just give loans out; you have to apply for it. And it gives you the money you need to pay for the expenses you have. Um, so the question now is, does anyone know why they give? Why would a bank give a loan out? Consumers. Well, charge to do that, then you have to pay back more than what you get. That's right. So a bank. Mr. Mather, it's still oh, okay. It was on my picture, and I don't know why. Yes, it's not okay. They can see everyone. Okay. Okay. So banks give out loans uh, to give them chances to make purchases for what they need. They collect monthly interest from the loan until the loan is paid off. That interest percentage um, can range anywhere from zero for certain. For a certain amount of months, all the way up to you know 25, 30 percent depends on your credit score and that. But that is what the bank will determine at the time you apply for the loan. They agree to give you the money. You get the interest rate of 10 percent. They each month will collect 10 percent on top of your payments. So if you pay a hundred dollar, you have a hundred dollar payment. Only ninety dollars is really going towards paying the loan off. Ten dollars is they're making each month. So you know, but banks are making money from your loans. That's why they're so gracious to give them out to everyone. All right. Now we have an activity that I want to do with you guys. If you would look at the which bankers for me handout. And I can pull it up. All right. This activity, you guys will look at the three different types of banking institutions, the commercial bank, the credit union, and investment bank. Uh, we don't have time to research, so I'll just have you guys off the top of your head uh, answer these. Uh, I just want you to pick a bank or commercial bank, credit union, and investment bank, and if you're not sure of a bank for a credit union, investment bank, or commercial bank, just leave it blank. We'll go over it as a class. And tell me why you chose that one and why you'd want to bank there. I'll give you guys a few seconds, then I'll just call on a few people and we'll move on. So is this based on our current income like that we make to get my part-time job? It can be. Or, or would this be like when I get older and I have more money because I like got college educated and job? It can be either way. If you want to use, choose a bank that you want now, or your dream bank that you want to go later on, or financial institution later on after you're out of college, then you may do so. You said. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You said that the credit union you know, does not make money on the. I mean, they, they also make profits, and it's, you said it was a non-profit. It, it, it is a non-profit. Uh, they 
And they also make money from the loans. Yes, yes, they yeah. make money from the loans. They're a nonprofit in the sense that the members help run it in a sense that they don't participate in the Federal Reserve. They don't get all their money from the Federal Reserve like a commercial bank. Okay. I, w I was leaning more towards the credit union, but since they also make profit. Huh? Yeah, all banks make like profits on loans and mortgages, anything like that. Um, they all collect interest on any type of loan they give out. Um, credit unions, and unions um, tend to work a little harder for their members when it comes to stuff like that. Uh, it just really depends. So, Mr. Rather, because you bank with a credit union, does that mean that you like those better? No, ma'am. I have banked at other ones. It, the reason I chose a credit union is because when I was still in college in Kentucky, and my parents were here, it was the only bank that was at one place. So, it made it transfer money. Okay. Okay, so let me go back to this. What about, okay, how about Neil? When, which one did you choose? I chose the first one. Okay, why did you choose that one? Because that's the one my parents did. Alright. What about Cameron? Which one did you choose? Uh, I chose a commercial bank. Okay. That's what I have now, so. Okay. Keep it simple. And we'll do one more. Tijuana, which would you choose? Well, uh, I chose a commercial bank because I've seen a lot of things with the bank of America. Okay. All righty. Alright, now, I'm going to spend a few minutes going over your homework assignment that you guys will have. And we'll do tomorrow. Now, for this assignment, you guys, I'll let you guys go to uh, www.chase.com and answer the following questions regarding loans. Um, all of this you will find, you'll be able to find searching. Through the website, I created this going based off of the website, so it is very easy to find. And the first one is about mortgage or home loans. So you'll go there, search for mortgage and home loans. Um, I want you to write down what is the fixed interest rate for a 15 and a 30 year loan. Um, what is the number of months it will take you to pay off a 30 and 15 year home loan? Um, it tells you that in there, so there's no calculating. Um, everything on here, it gives you the answers. I just want you to get familiar with searching the website and how it is set up and what the bank has to offer. Um, so there's no calculating, just given it gives you everything. Um, the second one is auto loan, um, kind of same thing. You just read through A, B, C, and D and give an answer. And the third one, I want you to look at the Chase Freedom and the Chase Slate credit cards. Compare them and state which one you would apply for and why you feel it's the best. It gives you a comparison chart and turn it in tomorrow at the beginning of class. And that is your guys homework assignment. And the other thing I wanted to go over real quick before we leave today is I want you guys to hand in on your way out. Um, I know it says five and three up here, but just come up with three overall positive things that you guys can get from online banking or mobile banking. You know, in this day and age, all the banks have things, apps, and give you online banking accounts to make it convenient for you. So I just want you to come up with three things, because I know we're getting ready to have a pep rally, so 
If everyone could hand that in on their way out, that will be your participation grade for the day. And I hope you all enjoyed it and have a great day. Thank you.